virtual music time with me, Mrs. T. So let's get right into it. Um, I loved watching your videos last week of Dum Dum Dea and you performing the hand game that I taught you and also some of you were extra super awesome and creative and created your own hand game to go with the song. I loved that, okay? And I can't wait to see some new videos of the same exact song, Dum Dum Dea, except we're gonna do something a little bit different, okay? So um, make sure that you know the words to the song Make sure you know how you're supposed to sing it too and what it sounds like, okay? I want you to be able to use your singing voice in the videos that you send me, okay? So let's go over, I don't even know why I put this down. Let's go over Dum Dum Dea again, okay? Sing along with me because you're gonna have to sing it in your challenge video. And if you don't have the tune of it, the way it sounds with your singing voice, you need to practice both of those before you do anything else, okay? All right, so next, we're gonna be using a vocabulary word in music today. We are going to be using this word called ostinato. And in ostinato, what that means is it's a short repeating pattern that occurs in music so that you keep hearing it when you hear the song. And it's just a repeating pattern that keeps going and going. So we are going to use this ostinato or this pattern to play it. We're gonna learn it and then we're gonna play it on something that you have in your house, okay? So we have three quarter notes, one, two, three, or you can call them ta's, ta, ta, ta. They kind of look like lowercase d's or little stick people feet. And then you have a quarter rest. And the quarter rest, we can also call it a shh or a silent rhythm. And I think this kind of looks like a lightning bolt or some of you are Harry Potter fans. It kind of looks like a Harry Potter scarf, Harry Potter's scarf, I don't know. So um, let's first practice so we know what this sounds like so then we can use it in just a few minutes, all right? Practice this with me and I want you to either clap or pat this rhythm, this pattern, on your lap or clap it with your hands and I want you to use your speaking voice to see, speak it with me. One, two, ready, here we go. Ta, 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 Good. So hopefully you patted or clapped it. Ta, ta, Make sure you don't clap or pat on that quarter rest, on that silent rhythm, because it's a silent rhythm, so it does not make a sound, okay? Alrighty, so what you are going to do, you're gonna do a little bit of some searching in your house. You're gonna search in your house for something that you think might be good to play this ostinato on. Maybe you might find a bucket, Maybe you might find a pot. Maybe you might also find a spoon. So this is what I'm gonna be using. You can choose whatever objects you want in your house. Just make sure they are not breakable and you ask your family first if you can use them, okay? I don't wanna be responsible for anything that breaks. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna play this rhythm on whatever object you got, okay? This is my choice, pot and spoon. So I'm gonna play the ostinato four times on my pot. Maybe you can try it with me. Ready? And here we go. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Now, you could be asking yourself, well, I don't wanna just use 
one item. I Maybe I want to use this pot, a smaller pot, and a glass. Sure, you can use as many objects as you want. Just make sure that you're able to keep that ostinato and keep that steady beat. Okay, so now what you're going to do after you've practiced and picked out what objects you want to use, you are now going to play this pattern. Ooh, there's some thunder. You're going to play this pattern while you sing. I'm going to show you what I mean. Dum, dum, day, a dum, dum, away, away, a C, C, K, a C, C, away, away, a mama, mama. Play that pattern on your object. So now I'm going to do the same exact thing, and I want you to try and do it with me. I just changed objects. I got a crinkle bag that one of my cats used, so you might see cat fuzz flying everywhere. Okay? All right. So I'm still going to do the same thing. I just have a different object. Okay? One, two. Ready? Here we go. Dum dum day, a dum dum away away a c c k a c c away away a ma ma mi a ka ma ma mi a ya ma ma mi a ka ma ma mi a ya uka paka uka paka uka paka jump. Okay, so you want to make sure you pick a fun object for you to use so that you can uh, make this accompaniment pattern to play this ostinato along while you are singing. It might be a little tricky. If it's tricky, I would only pick one object, okay? If you feel like you need more of a challenge, maybe you might have two or three different pots and pans with you or two or three different, I don't know, glasses whatever you want to do, okay? So your challenge for this is to memorize the words and the tune to the song, practice the ostinato. This is the ostinato and pattern that you're using, okay? Use this one. Then you are going to sing and play that ostinato on whatever object uh, you would like in your house, okay? You're going to make that choice. Those are the three things I want to see. Singing voice, memorize that song. I want you to practice the ostinato. I want you to perform the ostinato on some type of object, and you're going to sing that song, Dum Dum Dea, and play the ostinato at the same time, okay? Now, if you feel like that's too easy for you, I challenge you to make up your own ostinato. Okay, you don't have to tell me what the rhythms are. You can just make it up yourself. Dum dum day, dum dum away away a c c k a c c away away a ma ma mi a ka ma ma mi a ya ma ma mi a ka ma ma mi a ya uka paka uka paka uka paka jump. Okay, you can make up your own. That's cool too. Okay, but if you feel like that's too challenging, don't worry about it. Okay. All right, guys, it was so nice to see you today and nice to work with you. I cannot wait to hear all of these lovely videos of you performing Dum Dum Dea with this ostinato, okay? All right.